I am Dr. Rajesh Shrinivas. I am a senior consultant and vascular and endovascular surgeon in Narayana Health City. So today I am going to talk about vascular diseases and how it is very important. So first of all, a vascular surgeon, what he is going to treat? He is going to treat the disease of arteries, veins and lymphatics. So let us know about what is critical limb ischemia. As we all know that blood is life and it is very crucial for your body. So whenever there is decreased blood supply to a particular organ in your body, so that is going to die. So the vascular surgeon deals with wherever the arteries, veins or lymphatics have disease and compromised, that will be treated by the vascular and endovascular surgeon. So what is critical limb ischemia? So whenever you see if there is a gangrene or if there is a wound in your leg and if you are unable to walk, this is critical limb ischemia. And supposingly if you are walking for half a kilometer, one kilometer, you are unable to walk. And if you notice a gangrene, that is a blackish discoloration of the toes or any redness, you should seek a vascular surgeon. These are the warning signs in a vascular patient. Who are the susceptible patients? A patient who have got a long-term diabetes and a young smoker who smokes a lot of cigarettes. These are the risk factors. And hypertension, this can lead to having a non-healing ulcer or a wound. You have to seek earlier and meet a vascular surgeon and to treat appropriately so that we are going to evaluate you and possibly subject you to what is called as angiogram or a simple test called a Doppler. And we are going to identify your disease, whether there is any blockage in your arteries, that is in your blood vessels, if there is any blockage, if you have any small blockages or major blockages, this will lead to a foot gangrene and what is going to happen to you? So you are going to end up with a major amputation, that is a limb loss. You might have a minor amputation or a limb loss. Unfortunately, in our country, in India, most of the rural areas doesn't have uh, vascular surgeons and it, there is a delay in the diagnosis of the patient. And by the time they reach the hospital, it is too late and you may have to do only primary amputation. You know that once the patient loses a leg, and he is a sole breadwinner of the family and he is unable to do and the whole home office will collapse and is be a major financial burden on the family. So earlier you come with these wounds or pain in the leg or if you are unable to walk, seek the vascular surgery expertise. And we are going to subject you a simple test called Doppler, arterial Doppler or angiogram and identify where were the blocks. Now, with the advent of the technology over decades of vascular surgery in practice, we have what is called endovascular surgery, where we do a small puncture. You can be admitted in the hospital for a day or two in a daycare. Without an operation, we can do a small surgery by puncturing the, your blood vessel. And we use what is called as a balloon and a wire and we are going to relieve the blockages in your arteries and restore the blood flow to your foot or wherever the blocks are there. So that your gangrene or your wounds will heal quickly and you will be discharged next day and restore the blood flow. And the main objective is we are going to avoid amputation for you. And as the patient, you are treated with this. And once you come to the wound care, all this dressing and wound care is taken care of. We'll advise about diabetic foot care and that by restoring the blood flow, your wounds also heals quickly and you are saved from an amputation and, and go on to your normal life and walk normally as possible. So this is very important. Uh, whenever you have this signs of uh, vascular disease like gangrene, ulcer, Please seek your vascular surgery advice and expertise to avoid an amputation, to save leg 
as well as save life. Thank you very much.